Assalamu alaikum guys you are watching windows fixer and I am here to show you how to optimize windows 11 for the best gaming experience. In today's video we will optimize windows from basic to beginner to advanced levels for the best gaming experience so that you don't face any lag or stuttering and can enjoy your gameplay. Also I request you if you are new to my youtube channel kindly like and subscribe so you never miss any upcoming optimization videos and tech guide. As you know we are working on suggested topics so feel free to ask in the comments section. Step number 1 as usual before optimizing always create a restore point so that if any issues arises after optimization you can restore it. For that just click on the search icon and then you can search here for restore point you will get here create a restore point. Click on the create restore point once you are here just choose your drive and then click on configure. Make sure turn on system protection on and then hit apply ok. Now you will see here another option create just click on that and then you can type any name windows 11 optimization and then click on create. The restore point was created successful. Now click on close and click on the system restore. So whenever you want to restore your windows to the default settings, select here your restore point and then click on next. So it will restore your windows settings. Step number two, storage sense. I have already configured it. Just click on the windows icon and then open the settings. Once you open the settings, simply search here for the storage sense, S-T-O-R-A-G-E and then space s-e-n-s-e -E. you will get here turn on storage sense just click on that once you are here make sure enable the storage sense and then click on it and now you can configure it as you can see here run storage every day delete files in my recycle bin if they have been there for over according to me it's 14 days and then delete files in my download folders if they have not been opened for more than 14 days you can choose the same and once you configure it you can just run storage sense now click on that and that's it so you should do it too it is important for maintaining computer performance if not done your pc may slow down temporary files are good for some reasons but they can also affect your pc performance for gaming purpose step number three windows performance click on the windows icon then search here for visual effects and then hit enter once you hit enter you will see here the two features transparent effect and animation effect you can turn off these effects for better performance if you are using low end pc also close it once another thing you can do here click on the windows icon or just open the file explorer and then right click on your this pc then go into the properties once you open here you will see here the advanced system settings just click on that once you are here you need to see here the performance tab just click on the settings and then you can set here adjust for best performance but in my case i'm going with custom one and then you can choose here smooth edges of screen fonts and the second option you can choose here show thumbnails instead of icons secondly just click on the advanced options and choose programs for better performance for gaming and software instead of windows background process by default it's on background services in older windows versions you can choose here program and then hit apply and then click on ok step number four now system configuration it doesn't impact gaming performance much due to other factors but it can improve your windows booting performance click on the windows search icon and then you can search here for system configuration and then open it once you open this window you need to click on the boot option and then click on the advanced option once you are here click on the number of processors and then click on the scroll down choose the maximum here and then click on ok hit apply and then click on ok step number five mouse settings just click on the windows search icon and then you can search here for mouse settings once you get this click on it and then additionally mouse settings and then pointer options there is a feature called acceleration precision those who don't use it should disable it those who do it it's a choice I will explain what it is. Acceleration basically holds your mouse movement forcefully to your consistent movement. But as you know, human's hands movement is not very consistent. So try it without mouse acceleration for accuracy. And then click on OK and then close this. 
Step number six, services tweak. Just click on the windows icon, search here for services and then hit enter. Once you open this, just expand it a bit. And then two things are very important here. One is sysmin, just press uh, select any service and then press S key from your keyboard until you will get here the sysmin. And the second one is windows update. Just press W until you will get here the windows update. Just double tap on it and choose here startup types on disable hit apply ok same with sysmain just press s again and then right click on the sysmain go into the properties choose here disable and hit apply ok you can temporarily turn both off before playing games and here's a tip if you have a low or medium pc then restart your pc before gaming then disable these services then enjoy the game trust me this tip is very effective if you try let me know your feedback in the comment section because i upgraded from core to do to i7 4 gen and then to ryzen and these settings were very helpful for me when i had an older pc step number seven windows 11 background services disabling background services in windows 10 is very easy you can find it in privacy settings under background apps but in windows 11 this option is not publicly available or you can say this option is a bit difficult so what you can do here click on the windows icon then search here for local group policy just open the local group policy editor and expand it now what you can do here click on the computer configuration administrative templates expand it and now here you need to go into the windows component and you will see here the app privacy on the right side just double tap on it and here you will see let windows apps run in the background just double tap on it once again click on enable and now you will see here the default for all apps what you can do here click on the user in is in the control force denny and then hit apply ok and then close it Enable this feature and any access to any services applications listed there so they don't run in the background until you launch them yourself. Now let's move on the further optimization Windows 11 optimization pack. Now you can download the Windows 11 optimization pack. The link will be in the description. In this pack you will get 5 folders all highly recommended for optimization. The number one is cleanup as everybody knows about this one. But let's move on the uh, CPU optimization, which will make your PC fully potential while gaming. Number two, RAM optimization. Usually Windows optimize RAM customly, but for few games, it's not good. So we are forcing the OS to give more space. So you will see smoothness in gaming for long time gameplay. But here's a tip, at least use 16 GB RAM if you game for a long time. Number four, Windows optimization. And number five, power plan and related to the OS and CPU. Let me show you how to perform all these steps one by one. First, open the cleanup and then right click on it. Run as administrator, a pop-up pop -up will appear. Just click on yes and then press any key. And that's it. Let's perform all these one by one. Just open first one, disable game DVR right click on it and then open it click on yes and that's it click on ok same fix power throttling yes and ok increase cpu priority click on yes and ok and then again ok optimize cpu for gaming click on yes yes and then click on ok cpu priority now if you are amd user you can go with the amd if you are intel then go with the intel one i'm going with amd because i'm using right now Ryzen which is AMD and then click on OK right click yes OK increase power efficiency just right click on it click on yes again yes OK now just go back RAM optimization choose the RAM that you are using currently in my case I'm using 16 GB and if you don't know about this just right click on the just click on the Windows icon and then you can search here for system information install physical memory now in my case i'm using 16 gb just 
right click on the 16 GB and then open it with registry editor click on yes yes and ok now windows optimization boost PC response right click on it click on registry cache cleaner just right click on it run as administrator otherwise it will not work again right click open with registry editor yes and then ok fps boost pack if you guys know uh, know what actually inside of this just right click on it and then open it with the edit in notepad and you will see each and everything about this file now just right click on it run as administrator and then click on yes Now go back power plan and programs now ultimate power plan just click on it open this one now copy this command prompt and then click on the windows icon search here cmd right click on it run as administrator and then click on yes and then you need to paste your command over here and then hit enter and then close it now what you need to do here you need to search here for power plan and then go into the power option and select here the ultimate performance and then close it now the last first apply the ultimate power plan and then open msi mode utility just right click on it and run as administrator click on yes now choose your nvidia the gpu you are actually using check this option and then set it on high and then hit apply and then close it I hope today's video was helpful for you. If you have any question, feel free to ask in the comment sections. Have a good day. Bye-bye.